Hey guys, welcome back. So what you're seeing here is the new ISO of Arch Deepin, which features Kwin. And this is a very lightweight ISO. It's only uh, 1.4 gigabytes and it's very minimalistic. As you can see, the applications here just got the bare basics, just file manager, image viewer, text editor, terminal. And that's basically it. Those are the main four things you really need. And then, of course, you have the other Deepin uh, applications and settings and whatnot. Uh, now, for some reason, this there's like this warning icon here at the bottom. Can't really quite figure out what it is. Uh, when I click on it, nothing really happens. When I just hover over it, I don't really see a message or anything. But whatever. Also, it's pretty interesting. I don't know. I don't know if Antec Designs implemented this, but uh, it says beautiful mode here. And I know that in Manjaro and the other versions, it says fashion mode. So uh, that's pretty interesting. But anyway, of course, here we have the installer. And I must say this is a great installer. Uh, it's one of the fastest installers I've used. Uh, it took me like 10 minutes to install the system. It's very simple. I'm not actually going to run through the installer because I already have the system installed. But very simple. You select the language, then prepare installation. You just... Uh, select all these options here, partition your disk if you need to, you mount the partitions, and then you just install the base. Of course, it doesn't let me because I haven't done that, but you do that, then you install Grub if you're going to use Grub, uh, and then you configure it. Of course, it doesn't let me show that either, but it's it's very simple, you know, very simple. Uh, you don't really need to be very advanced to know what to do. It's just very simple, you know. It takes, like, like I said, 10, 15 minutes, and once you're all set, then it should work. So I'm actually going to go right ahead to my installation and show you what it looks like. All right, so here I am in the login screen. Let me just log in real quick. So the first thing I'm probably going to begin by talking about uh, before I talk about other stuff is, as you saw the login screen, that was the login screen. But as you can tell, I'm using the default wallpaper still. So if you do try to select something else and I decided to install this image to kind of sh showcase um, some of Antec Design's artworks. Um, he has a whole collection of it. I could just uh, provide a link in the description if you want to take a look at the uh, other ones. But this is, so I set this as the wallpaper, right? And I also set this on the lock screen. So when I log out, there's this kind of glitch, which is weird. So this is also uh, during the lock, kind of like lock buttons and whatnot, the log out, shut down, restart. So if I press enter, I can still go to login screen. But as you can see, everything is white. So um, this, of course, is a problem from Deepin. Uh, just keep in mind that this whole Kwin integration, uh, it's going to take some time until it... Oh, I have new updates. Yeah, it's going to take some time until it's fully well integrated and there's also there's a lack of kwin settings or uh you know kde type settings to kind of adjust the kwin effects add some wobbly windows and uh, magic clamp effects but you can also see that the full screen application launcher is also glitched up but again like i said keep in mind this is just uh a deep in issue i mean it's that that issue and um the D native Deepin applications, uh, if we take a look at them and we try to uh, snap them to the sides here, you can see that it's just, and also resizing. Like, I, I didn't press a single button on my mouse. It's just, it's <laughs> kind of a hassle. It does get annoying. It does get kind of annoying to use native Deepin applications because, I mean, just look at this. Like, I have to press my mouse a hundred times to get it to stop. But I mean, if you do use the with the whole wallpaper thing, if you use any other uh, like default wallpaper here, it just goes back to normal. And I'm just gonna use this. Let's see here. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So I'm I'm just gonna use this wallpaper because I like it. And well, actually. I would have wanted to use that one, but let's see if I could use this one without a problem. Okay, that's good. All right, so the native applications, keep in mind, like I said, this is very minimal. So uh, you're going to have to basically do everything with the 
terminal at the start and I also see that the blur effect is working again because at one point it didn't work so uh, but yeah so we can see it's using uh, Kwin as the window manager and uh, let's take a look here so okay so for the applications I added these I believe two applications let's see oh yeah screen fetch it doesn't come with screen fetch right away so keep that in mind but I mean that's it's just easy it's just you just update your system and then you do uh, sudo pacman dash capital s screen fetch it's easy but uh, no browsers the choice is up to you if you don't like firefox you can install something else or whatever and pamac I just had to install it just had to get it on my system uh, I also got yay the AUR helper so I got that and uh, Pamac as well uh, because I just I kind of like having a graphical user interface and uh, sometimes I forget packages like for example the uh, KDE settings so this is something that you could do if you want to have like oh I have to update first uh, I don't feel like doing that <laughs> uh, hold on yeah but it's going to install a lot of dependencies and th that's really not optimal at all but if you really want to just test out maybe on a virtual machine or uh, something like that uh, you could install the KDE system settings and kind of adjust some stuff from there but it does interest me um, how they're going to implement the settings pretty curious but you basically get a an arch experience with the deep and desktop environment and you know what something's kind of weird is I don't I really don't understand why it took 18 gigabytes like this is a bare installation keep in mind I gave this virtual machine 26 gigabytes and 18 gigabytes are being used this is the one weird thing about this that I just can't quite pinpoint uh, the reasoning behind this I don't know if it's a bug, I don't know if it doesn't know how to read it properly, but this should be like 10 max. I don't know where the extra 8 gigabytes are, are being used up by. I mean, <laughs> look at this, this is a bare minimum installation. I mean, it's using the deep in desktop environment. Sure, it's not the most lightweight desktop environment. Let's take a look. Um, uses a gigabyte, 1.1 gigabytes of RAM, but I mean, that's kind of odd. So, can't quite explain that. But yeah, I mean, as a whole, the experience is nice. Uh, apart from those small little bugs there, uh, the so far the integration is good, considering the uh, K1 implementation seemed a bit rushed, in my opinion. Uh, also, I believe this multitasking view doesn't work either. Let's take a look. Let's go with the default wallpaper. Yeah, that doesn't really seem to work. Let's try the show desktop. Yeah, so there's going to be a couple bugs, of course, so far, but uh, they're probably all going to be fixed uh, within the future. Within probably the next major Deepin update, uh, they should have uh, Kwin all working and and being just fine. So, but yeah, that's uh, basically it. You know, if you want a bare arch experience and you want a deep and desktop environment, you want a fast, easy to use installer, well, this distro is for you. So that was basically it. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching.